as welcome back to more episodes of Money Heist 1 to episode 3 of season 3. So everything's set up. We've had a bit of, bit gra- bit of background with this guy Martin a bit more than we had previously in previous seasons. Um, and he was the guy who came up with this heist, this plan first before the Royal Mint. And at the time it was impossible, but they've got so much more money, so much more resources. They've hired like a team of Chinese hackers. They've got all the latest surveillance equipment that the the CNI and the police and everyone would have. And they have just conned their way through the front door by being one of the army response teams that has been um, allocated to to this, uh, one of the primary targets. So they used all the technology for that. Very smart. They've just made their way through the door and now they've just blown all the outside. I'm not quite sure why. I'm sure we're going to find out. So let's carry on. This is episode three. I want to know why they're blowing this. I'm not entirely certain. And here we go again. This is how they use them, right? So they seal the doors the same in them in. <laughs> okay. Es una auténtica caja fuerte. Cool. No es que desde dentro es un fortín inexpugnable. Una vez activado el protocolo, nadie, nadie podrá entrar ni salir en una hora. For one hour. Y ese es el tiempo del que dispondremos para hacernos con la pieza clave. Which would be? Por la fase 2 del plan. The governor? Su despacho, Do you need to kill something off him? Acoltas personales que no tendrán el cuerpo para broma precisamente. Es una orden directa del general Salas Núñez. I don't think he gives a shit. No, si la orden la he recibido. Pero no la voy a acatar. En ese instante me pregunté qué estaría pensando Nairobi. Okay. I mean, it's 50-50 whether we were or not. Sacar la pistola y le haré tiros. El profesor nos había preparado para cualquier yeah, contexto. including this, surely. Pero seamos sinceros. Una cosa era la teoría y otra la práctica. Entre literatos y poetas no hay nada que temer. ¿Bien? So they have got this lot in here. Okay. Levantad las manos. I was thinking they weren't taking hostages, but clearly they are. This is a robbery. Mi nombre es Palermo. I'm waiting for it. Y tengo dos noticias para daros. <laughs> la mala es que el Banco de España está sufriendo un ataque. Y la buena. Es fuerte. <laughs> es que los atacantes somos nosotros. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's the good news. Wow. Yeah, he spotted it already. Pop. Shit. Oh, that's how you can stop the fifth. Señor Gobernador. Ahora sí que tiene que acompañarnos. Hello, he looks like Hitman. <laughs> Parece que la cosa no está fácil para ninguno de los dos. Andía, suelta a la chica. You work for him, by the way. No sé lo que pretenden, pero no tienen forma de salir de aquí. Pues nos quedamos. Well, well, yeah, for now. Oh shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. He made a move, that's what happened. Ya se están bajando. Tenemos que subir. Vamos a etiquetar los teléfonos de rojo y vais a poder hacer una llamada al día. ¿Eso de dónde lo sacaste, boludo? That's new. Eso lo digo yo, que para eso soy el coordinador. Because de you're a parent now. Así que si tú, cosito, <laughs> sos el papá del año. En el mundo. Todo se rige por una sencilla balanza y es... A very delicate balance. Lo que puedes ganar y lo que puedes perder. Y en este momento, ellos creen que no tienen nada I mean, how's this going to work? Because there's even more of them in here. That. 
out of eight position. Señores, me presento. Ahí. Mi nombre es Palermo y soy el atracador al mando. El ser humano tiene dos ojos. Y a diferencia del camaleón, los presenta fijos y en la parte frontal del rostro. <risa> well, obviously. Y te hablo puntualmente a vos, Gandía. Que vas todos los domingos al stand de tiro. ¿Qué co He wants to take control of this whole situation, you can see it. The van lane. <laughs> you wouldn't expect that view from where they were, would you? Si hubiera tenido un botón para darle al rewind, lo habría hecho en ese instante. He's not on Pero no lo tenía. He's not in complete control of this one. Vaciamos los cargadores contra los chalecos como nos había dicho el profesor. Pero lo hicimos tarde. He got it. I saw glass flying. I don't know if, it, if he got injured badly or not. I've no idea. His eyes are full of glass. Oh, that's in blind. Oh, my God. Oh, that's in blind. Oh, not the eyes. Not the eyes. This has gone bad really quickly. He's going to be blind. No surgeon's going to come in and fix that. Oh, last time. Oh, that's in blind. Oh, that's in blind. Oh, that's in blind. La precisión, se requiere una precisión de micro yeah, para intervenir oftalmológicamente. Bien, de mis ojos nos ocuparemos después. Denme ahora a mi derecha. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Dame tu brazo. Vamos. Vamos, ¿qué tal? Escúchame. ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Nos vas a amarrar como si fuese un perro? No, mi amor. Estáis todos en familia. Por si te entran ganas de hacer pipí. <risa> pipí. <risa> En todas las entradas y en todas las salidas, de modo que si alguien. Actually, they're not joking. por parte. Do you know? I've got to say, there is one thing that you wouldn't normally get in this situation, in particular if you happen to be a hostage. You don't know your captors. You don't know what they're capable of. You don't know what their end goals are. Even if you figure out what it is they're here for, which usually is fairly obvious. You don't know whether you are collateral damage at the end of it. However, because this group is so famous for what they've already done, and yes, I know they lost people, but it's not like they, you know, they shot hostages or anything. You've actually more of a, an indication that if you just don't get involved, don't cause any shit, don't try to escape, and don't try to befriend one of them you might be okay you more than likely you, i would say your odds are probably between 80 and 90 percent it only goes down if you stop being an arturo so you know usually whenever you're if you're ever taken hostage for something no one knows them this lot famous vamos a currar a 65 grados centígrados good god que viene siendo un jodido crematorio 65 degrees. Las serán de 12, 14, 16 o 24 horas. Un paso al frente, caballero. Enhorabuena, es el primer de la tarde. Siguiente. M Miguel Fernández está en la anilla de Total Murcia. He's going to be of no use. ¿Qué hacen, Miguel? Soy becario de operaciones y sistemas. Yeah, look at him. Venga, un paso al frente. Yeah. Enhorabuena, es usted el segundo. I can tell which one's going to take. No, hombre, ¿qué hace aquí? Amanda, soy la secretaria del gobernador. <laughs> es el dedo que señala a los voluntarios y te está señalando a ti una y otra y otra vez. Hazme el favor de dar un paso al frente que eres voluntario. There goes the key card. So we've got to get in that safe thing. Yo creo que ha quedado de cojones, muy fluido, muy de verdad. Oh, he was a decoy, okay. Seis años. ¡Seis hostias! Trabajando con este tío. ¿Cómo han detonado las cargas? Aún no lo sabemos. Explosivo plástico, RDX, perfectamente ensamblado. Es un faro. Con todo respeto, coronel, esa gente es capaz de cualquier cosa. Que es la overconfidence no we're talking about. Lo que estoy diciendo, estos son unos mierdas. Escúchame, coronel. Por favor. ¿Cómo te encuentras? Estoy muy jodido, Luis. No puedo. Lo siento, encárgate tú. Holy shit. No te preocupes. Soy el coronel Tamayo de inteligencia y asumo el Tamayo. mando del operativo. Lo primero quiero a la reina de las hijas de puta aquí. Llamada Alicia Sierra. Con ella ahora. Dime. Alicia, soy Tamayo. ¿Le has sacado algo? No tiene nada que nos sirva, Luis. Mételo en un avión y te vienes con él a Madrid. Ah. Oh. trabajo aquí. 
Ven ahí. Méteme en la jugada, Luis. Profesarte algo un poco desagradable. Me han diagnosticado la enfermedad de mamá. No, oh, it was time bombs on us. I got it, Trey. Tres años. Because when it comes to time as well. Los alarmistas que son los médicos. Al final serán seis. O siete. Y vamos a buscar un tratamiento en el extranjero. Lo primero no tiene cura. Y lo segundo me lo paso mucho mejor robando. Dying <laughs> star. Para, 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 no, no, claro que no. Le habrías dicho Forza, Michelangelo, continua fare cuelo que te apasiona, un pintor o un poeta, lo mismo. En cuanto toques esta puerta, so long you've got. la cámara corazada se va a inundar de agua. Tenfels. 16 minutos y 15 segundos. O abrimos un boquete y soldamos oh. el tubo de interconexiones. En ese tiempo, ah. tal cual, nos vamos todos para la cárcel. ¿Qué somos? Los putos amos. Esto es mantequilla. Y vosotros. <risa> vosotros la vais a derretir. Una puerta de 14 toneladas de acero. Y enfrente. Eso es el original plan. Los mejores fundidores de metal del mundo. ¡Listos! Y cuando toquemos esa puerta, empezará a entrar agua. 7500. Eso es un sofisticated system. Look at this. <laughs> this is Mission Impossible time. Una vez lleno, so once it's full, they don't connect to a tube. No fucking way. Ajax. 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 Don't you need oxygen? What? Cada minuto empieza la auténtica fantasía del nuevo milenio. Soldar por ambos lados una antecámara de interconexión. I don't suppose to start the house has to be. Cada minuto, hermano, no te parece mejor que una película de James Bond? Ni siquiera el mismísimo James Bond. This dude is insane. Why didn't you take the freaking oxygen? We're almost out of time here. We must be. Okay. That's scary. Hermano de mi corazón, llegan, llegan las burbujas. Se equilibra la flotación. Yeah, because it's equalizing. <laughs> well, you clearly did it, didn't he? That is just. Por efecto. He has the total vision of this, doesn't he? la cámara acorazada del banco de España. And because it's completely underwater, that way no one knows much. <laughs> yeah. Got tears in his eyes. Wow. Excellent. Right, okay, episode three. Um that whole episode obviously was was full of information and action and some failure and some success. And I do like the, the telling the story half and half with it being originally um, Martin and Berlin's crowning achievement that this is the one they were to go with, which they're now putting into motion. What I was not expecting was for that to happen to Martin. I don't see how you reverse him being blind. Regardless of how steady a hand Tokyo seems to think he has. Um, which he did try to point out as to why they use laser surgery. But then started mentioning nether regions. And she stuck a gun in his mouth. <laughs> so yeah, so let's not go there again. Um, that whole plan of how they get in there. When it's filling with water. Was just... I've used all the words. I've used all the words. Ingenious, intelligent, smart, cunning, insane, ridiculous, extremely well thought out. 
don't know how they thought they were going to do this plan originally when they didn't have the kind of funds that they've had to put this in place this time around because of the first heist, which is why I think the professor put it to a back burner. But we did have him in this episode storm straight out of that camper van looking at the ocean going, he's already gone shit, I don't know what to do because he's not had the time for the meticulous planning that he did because it wasn't his I know the other one was kind of his father's, but he had years to perfect it. What's he had for this? Three months? So we do have hostages again, but like I mentioned in commentary, they kind of should know what they're dealing with with this group. I did not see the decoy that they'd left in there with him saying, no, I'm not going to be a volunteer. What was that about? As usual, as Nairobi keeps saying, there's always one who wants to be a bloody hero and that kind of got him for it. And then he went and did the exact same thing as their chief welder going in without the oxygen. So, right, so we're in, we've got this interconnection tube thing, which makes the gold like it's in like I said like a space station like it's, it's not quite zero gravity but we all know as soon as something's suspended completely in water it, there's a lot, le a lot less weight to it so I guess we're going to take it from there and see, see what happens next I've obviously brought this other guy in I can't remember his name was it Tamayo Tamayo uh, something like that who's taken over in this investigation and then they've had Queen Bitch whatever her name is <laughs> who He's ordered to bring Rio to Madrid and sort it out from here. But, as mentioned, the one thing that they have at the moment is feeling overconfident because they think they can't lose with this this time. It's not going to go precisely that way. It's not going to go exactly how either way it wants to go. I think we could still lose people. I, I still think many more things are going to go wrong. But that's going to be on both sides. But the difference being this time is all the stuff, you, you know, the authorities have, like the equipment, the surveillance, everything, they've got the same. Right, I will be back with episode four in uh, a week's time, guys. If you do want to watch this in full length, you can, as always, over on Patreon. Just check the links in the description. If you're enjoying this series as much as I am, it is one of the best series I think I've watched on Netflix for a long time. And in general, one of the best heist um storylines i've ever watched because they are they do tend to be like oceans 11 or whatever and it's just a movie not an expanded series and storyline so if you're enjoying it as much as i am do not forget to give the video a quick thumbs up don't forget to subscribe while you're down here post your comments down below please keep spoilers to remember if you can and i will see you for episode four next take care Duh.